So next up are conditional statements. I actually did a lot of this and I realized I wasn't recording. So um, some of this may automatically be completed. I don't actually know. But anyway, um, this is basically if and else. So understanding if and else statements. So we will be going if uh, over if else, comparison, logical operations, truthy and falsy, which is a massive can of worms that JavaScript has, um, and then ternary, ternary operations, and then the switch statement. Um, truthy and falsy is just kind of weird, especially when you get into, um, uh, what is it called? Um, type coercion. So strings can turn into numbers depending on how you deal with it, and... Um, it, it just it, it's it's a massive can of worms and it's kind of why people don't partially partially why people really don't like javascript so uh, typescript helps with that and there are certain ways to get around truthy and falsy so let's get into the if statement so yep I, it used what i already did okay so as you can see here um it's asking us i'm gonna just go through it again um no i'm not so um Using the let keyword, declare a variable named sale. Okay, so we've got sale and we're applying it to true. Um, now create an if statement, provide the if statement and sale. Okay, so now you have to say if, parentheses, um, you put your condition inside of those parentheses, and then you have your code block that will run if this condition is true. So you're going to be saying time to buy, and notice how if the if statement ran, it'll say time to buy. Below the sale, we're going to uh, say this is false, run it, and now it's not going to say anything. But if I get rid of that, it'll say time to buy because we didn't reassign it to be false. So um, it'll only run if inside of that code block is true. Um, a little shorthand that you may see out in the world is you don't need the brackets as long as this is on a single line. And actually, it'll even run like that. But generally, you don't do that. So it'll, it'll just help. Um, shorten things and make things maybe a little bit more readable depending on what you're doing to just not have those. Um, although code Academy does not like that. So don't do it. So, um, yeah, that's the conditional statement. If then you have else, which will run if this is false, right? So, um, if sale is false, then um, or if sale is true, then it will run this, else it'll run this, okay? Again, you have those code blocks, um, and again, you don't actually need the brackets um, if you're running only a single line. If you're running multiple, you need the brackets. Um, I often don't use them. So, yep, if, false, else, that, okay? So you can, it's similar to basically every other programming language. If some condition is true it'll go to here if it's false it'll go to here okay add an else statement to the existing if statement okay inside the code of the else statement console.log string okay so you're just going to say else with the code with the brackets you have to do the brackets console.log time to wait for a sale okay and now you run this it'll say time to wait for a sale great so now um i'm going to go into another video but that is the fundamentals of the if else statement that didn't get in. I'm sorry, that that was if and else that did not get into else if. Um, basically, I'm going to go back just real quick. Um, else if you just have to write another condition inside of here. It's basically. Um, it's actually kind of funny. There's um, it actually uses the single line thing. So. Basically, it enters into a new code block. And then you say if some other condition. Okay, that's else if. But you don't actually, you don't need these brackets. So else if isn't like another keyword, unlike I'm pretty sure Python does elif. Um, gets rid of the se. It, yeah, it. So that's how else if works. So, um, yeah, let's go into the comparison operations and I'll see you in the next video.